Ron Tarosian. So at that time, we're talking about the mid-90s, Tarosian is allegedly the president of the Beitar movement. What is the Beitar movement? That is the youth group of the Likud party, Israel's ruling Likud party, the right-wing revisionist Zionists in Israel. They have a youth wing, and Ron Tarosian was the head of the youth wing of the Likud party. But wouldn't you know it, at the exact same time, he was also the leader of the young Kahana movement in New York City, on the down low. And we know this because he would go out to the synagogues where Kahana was praised, where Kahana preached when he was alive and when he was praised after he was killed and where he, they held his funeral ceremony and where they held their memorial ceremonies year after year. And Ron Tarosian come out to the young Israel of Ocean Parkway Synagogue and of course, you know, throngs of people would be screaming and chanting signs, Nekama, revenge, Mavet la'aravim, death to the Arabs. And Tarosian would speak in front of this, the synagogue and, you know, go up to the pulpit and tell the, those assembled that Kahana was the greatest Jewish leader ever. The only solution is the Kahana, solu is the Kahana revolution. Don't just say Rabbi Kahana was right. Don't just say the Arabs must go. Stay with us. Do something with us. And this is how the Kahana movement began its first steps towards taking over the Likud party. Remember that two-pronged effort to support the Kahanists and Benjamin Netanyahu from within the Likud party. So now they start off by taking over the youth wing of the, of the party, the Beitar movement, the youth movement. Well, that's what Tarosian represents. So if you can get a sense of, of, of how, what kind of dirty dealings went on. So we have Tarosian launching a career now as a political advisor. New York politicians, of course, they want to check the boxes and get all those three eyes, right? Italy, Ireland, and Israel. So when a Democratic Party politician is running for higher office there, Peter Vallone, he needs to go to Israel to, you know, to get his bona fides, to show that he ticked that box. But he needs someone to show him the ropes, to take him around, to introduce him to people and he decides to take the Kahanist Ron Tarosian. And so instead of visiting the, you know, the places that are in the consensus of the Zionist movement, he takes Tarosian, Tarosian takes Vallone down to Hebron, to the heart of the Kahana movement, to the place where Baruch Goldstein had just massacred 29 Palestinians. He said to Vallone, there's no Arab voting bloc in New York. What's your downside? Who are you going to alienate? Well, I can think of a few. I can think of a few New Yorkers who might be put off by him, uh, you know, ad adopting the, the positions of the Kahana movement. But in any case, Vallone did go to Israel and the Palestinian territories and the Occupy West Bank with Tarosian, went down to Hebron, and he said in his own words when he came back, I've heard a great deal about Hebron and wanted to see it visually. Now that I'm here, it has confirmed what I already believed. There is a non-acceptance by extremists on the Arab side of how much Israel is given. I understand that these are divisive issues in the Jewish community, but it is not a divisive issue for me or the New Yorkers I know personally. And this is how the Kahana movement begins to infiltrate the Democratic Party poli politics. Uh, Tarosian is adopted by the Clinton family advisor, Hank Scheinkopf, he trains him to be, uh, you know, in this, in the political machinations. And he ends up becoming one of the most powerful PR people in New York City till this day. Out and out Kahanist, he hasn't changed his views. Straight up, he said, we should kill 100 Arabs or 1,000 Arabs for every one Jew they kill. If someone kills Jews, we should wipe out the town he's from, kill them all. These are the kinds of people advising the Democratic Party in the United States. 
these are the kinds of people that the, the Clinton family bring into their, uh, into, into, you know, into, into their closest quarters.